I got 1257 on this one. Yeah, I didn't yeah, have to say that. that. Mm -hmm. the path. I just looked up and saw the time. I can't put this on mute. Tell me. I got 1257. Picked up that minute. Yeah, it is always a little bit delayed. No, Mandy, help me. Thank you. No, it's my own fault. I need to learn. To do it. Come on. Okay, last one minute to go. 30 seconds. All right, I'll call this meeting of the board of canvases um, to order. Um, I guess we need to approve the agenda. I make a motion to approve the agenda. And I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Dawn, you will be assigned, of course, to keep the detailed notes, as always. <laughs> <laughs> and we've done um, on our elections, we've done our what we consider our pre-canvas. Um, took a look at everything. We only had one office to canvas this time. And it is, again, which will should make us go fairly fast. So a state superintendent of public instruction. Um, so we'll start with, we usually start with the tally sheet, but I'm going to pull that aside. Um, I'll just, we'll talk about that when we do the numbers. Um, inspectors, statements, um, this is town of Bear Creek. So inspector statement, um, I saw nothing end on the pull book. It looks like it's a pull books and sign pages indicated. Um, inspector's statement, um, the seals listed, initialed by chief inspectors, um, confirmed that the poll book pages met the inspector statement and that um, I reviewed some of the log. So it looked good if you the guys agree to that. Um, that would be, there was no provisional ballots for the town of Bear Creek or any other town for that matter. Um, in regards to the tally sheet, uh, everything was trans uh, moved over to the um, tally sheet correctly as far as on the tapes, as well as the hash marks added up. So I'll go through the numbers that were reported. Um, Bear Creek, Jill, 45, Deborah, 59, zero scattering. Um, yeah, just start the aisle. Okay. So they, oh, these are so, yeah, the grandma. <laughs> so I just have to get our groove on. <laughs> <time going. laughs> so with the town of Caledonia, they have the ice machine, so they're fairly easy to do. They're um, inspector's statement looked complete, initial um, in the correct areas, as well as sealed. Um, the voter stat information was moved over from the poll book. The poll book is signed and pages indicated. 
there's again no provisionals. Um, their their number of voters, as with the Bear Creek, their number of voters and their number that they transpose to the inspector's statement is correct. Um, Caledonia had 311 cap votes. Um, so just let me know when you're ready and I'll give you those totals. All right, uh, results for Caledonia, Jill 132, Deborah 168. Okay, town of Dayton. In regards to inspector statement, every look thing looked complete um, as far as, I don't know that I need to repeat that every time you're, you're looking at it. So mm -hmm. everything was um, complete, no provisional. The poll book was um, completed correctly and fine. Um, the, yeah. Totals off the tapes were um, moved onto the tally sheet correctly, as well as the um, hand count paper ballots. Okay, and totals, Joe, sorry, 290, Deborah, 271, gathering zero. I'm going to do pot. For the inspector's statement, I noted that they did not log all their seal numbers, but they noted it's, they didn't log it on the where we put a new spot for the seal numbers now, but they did log it on the inside. So it was there, just they didn't put it on the area that we have now created for it. We've been tweaking the forms. Mm -hmm. People seem to like that, but the poll book looked like it was completed correctly as far as it's been signed and all the numbers are correct. There was no provisional. Um, the tapes, everything was moved over from their edge machine onto their tally sheet correctly as, as far as their total number of voters. And they filled up, they added everything correctly with their tallies, their hand count. So I have Jill 84. And Deborah 72. Oh, I have zero scattered. Oops, I have one. It's just not on this tally sheet. That's a town office. Yes, they have two listed here. They had one on the machine. They just did, uh, they must have called it in correctly. I don't know if it's on the sheet, but they did not put it on their tally sheet. And they are legit names. Yep, two. They called it two. So they, they did it correctly. They just didn't write it on their, so they just need to maybe note that they need to write it on their, on the actual tally sheet. But they did call it incorrectly. Okay, Farmington. Yeah, a big one. So the one is that next one is there. Oh. I don't think <laughs> that would be Jill not knowing to help how to help him because probably. That's easily done. Started with an L. <laughs> <laughs> At least I was in the right letter. Right. The poll book looked like everything was filled out on the front cover correctly. Um, the inspector's statement, everything looked initialed um, and no provisional. I did notice on the tally sheet there was one scattering on their edge machine that was a legitimate name. Um, Yeah, they did have one scattering that they should have considered. Um, again, it's not a right answer. It really makes no difference, but um, so we can add the one scattering um, to them, but it, it really doesn't make a difference. But 
Um, and if you want to verify it, and on the second edge tape, it's a Ken Yeager Jr., I believe it's a. So I have updated that everything else on the tallies were moved over correctly. So I have, oh, I'm sorry, Jill at 406 and Deborah at 310. And I, yeah, and I added one together and I did it on the screen already. Now it's on the frame up. Oh, I can see in the right order. Okay. Town of Fremont, their home look, they listed the last page in the book rather than the last voter. Not a huge deal, but this is one thing to look at. Their inspector's statement. Um, on their look at their incident 10 and 11. It says ballot container certificate sealed in bay and it was open when they came in. They then looked to find that certificate. It was in there, but it wasn't signed. So the inspectors came back and signed it the next day and was it was done before four o'clock. So And that's the certificate that goes on the outside of the ballot bag. It just got sealed in the bag. So a seal had to be broken, but they did that in front of us. We resealed it, noted it on the inspection statement, and then they found that it wasn't signed. So the inspectors came in and signed it prior to the 4 p.m. deadline. She put you a little closer. Huh? Yeah. Your arms aren't that long. Well, I'm trying to stretch. <laughs> so all of their on their um, tally sheet, everything moved over and they added everything correctly. So I had Jill at 41 and Deborah at 57. Putting that long Kind of Harrison. Um whole book they did not list the last voter correctly uh, on that they list the last page but the not last voter no provisional their inspector statement um looked good to me um and all of their tallies were brought over correctly When you say the last There's, voter number, they are supposed to like if they if their last voter was number seventy one, right. then they're supposed to tell us what page number seventy one was on. Forty to forty two. So they just did the entire. Yeah, they so. they just told uh, me what the last page was on the book yeah. rather than finding it. Okay. It's um, not like I don't know why that's one of the prerequisites yeah, for finding. Yeah. I don't even know why they require them to put it on the full book, but right. it is. So, and she did ask about it when we noted it with her, and and she so she is aware of it. So I have Jill with thirty seven and Deborah with thirty three and a scattering of one. Charles of Helvetia. Answer the poll book for yours for a starter. You're looking, it was good. There's no provisional. Um, inspector statement looked good. Um, all the numbers were there. Um, Everything was transposed um, correctly over here, um, on from the tape as well as the hashtags. So I have Joe, 38, Deborah, 
95 or 75. Sorry, 75. Town of Iola. Old book and inspector statement. Everything in there is I didn't, I didn't find anything that was of concern. Total number of voters was correctly moved on to the inspector statement, as well as all the hashtags, or they didn't have any accounts, but all the numbers were transformed from the tapes onto the tally sheet correctly and added correctly. What's that? Good documentation. Three section A on inspector statement. So we got we we got done with the pre canvas on Thursday. So I feel like we haven't looked at these for a while. You know what I mean? It's just like it's, my brain has moved. <laughs> so I have Jill sixty three, Deborah ninety zero skin. Tom Larrabee. Whole book appeared to be good. Inspector statement, they had two more ballots than voters. So John spoke with the chief inspection. They confirmed that they had 230 and, and confirmed that there was 200, actually 231 voters in the book. So their explanation um, regarding their two extra voters is they said they had two different voters, spent some time at the edge machine, but didn't ask questions. They left, and then the chief inspector saw that box to press to press here to cast ballot was on the screen, but there were no selections made. She pressed the cast ballot. Does not know if the voter really didn't make any selection or somehow another ballot was activated, but that's the only explanation she could get for the extra ballot. That's typically not, um, typically a voter wouldn't know how to move it to the next, um, but she has no any other explanation. So we have to explain it because that's the one way you shouldn't have is two extra ballots, um, but that was as best that they could give us. And their canvas number still came in below, the total, total votes still came in below the 231. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, the total votes was, let's see, 129. Yeah, you should mark it on this one. On the, oh, on this one? Yeah. And this one. Yeah. 229, let's go to 229. Total. There are 231 voters. So. so they did move everything from their edge and their insight over correctly. Um, that's where you discover the extra two, you know, when you're moving that stuff, you see that. Um, so I have Jill at 121, Deborah at 108, scattering zero. And Lebanon. All was good. Everything, there was nothing that I saw. So then once there's a thing you see, the tally sheets, um, everything was moved over correctly, added up correctly. Uh, turn on Lebanon. Different sheets. Oh, yeah, sorry. They, they, I didn't move it on the back. That's the right. Turn to the next page. There's the first sheet of the book. They sometimes put their. Okay, I have Jill. Oops, sorry, Nancy. For some reason, I'm, I'm I just jumping ahead on you. I caught the fancy writing here. <laughs> I couldn't read it, but I caught it. <laughs> Jill 83, Deborah 127, scattering zero for the title. I'll end. Okay, pull book. Appeared to be correct. Inspector statement. There's no initials by the uh, chief inspector after the seals for the close of polls. 
And then on the log, oh, after that. second sh shift, they do it down here, though I didn't notice. Oh, okay, great. Um, second shift after they switch shift, not one person wrote in the log. Not even closing the bolt. So not that that's a federal offense, but they, they should do that. As far as the tally sheet, um, it was noted that they mistakenly called in their scattering with for all their undervotes and overvotes. They added and any write ins so they recorded for the state contest um, three scatterings, and there was actually no scatterings um, on their tapes at all. So they reported two, the two undervotes and the one undervote from the edge and the insight. So scatterings need to be changed to zero. So I have 70 for Jill, 107 for Deb, and then scattering should be changed to zero if you want to verify and agree with me on that. Um, we did call the clerk and explain, and she'll talk to her workers if it does happen. And people do notice it because then all of a sudden, when they see these high numbers, the schools are like, why are there so many scattering for the, you know, they, they're, you know, I have a write-in or something, so so that would be all thing. So if you agree, I change. I guess I changed the number, so I hope all of you agree yeah. with that. <laughs> it's a pretty simple one. Kind of little wolf, kind of little wolf, kind of nice machine, so they don't have to move much. Um, they, everything on their book looked correct, as well as their inspector statement. Um, their tally, they only have to move their totals over. Um, and they did a nice job with their write in sheet, you know, the actual. So I have Joe 86. Deborah 128, scattering one. On a math side. Um, Full book looked good. Inspector statement was good, except for they utilized everything on the inspector statement other than the log. They didn't put anything in the log. <laughs> Not one entry. So um, they did a really good job of noting everything else. Which is great. That should save room on their log, but they could they could at least say close the opening and the closing of the pools and things like that. So share screen one other Actually, I didn't even share it when I was doing that. I should probably do that. Um, they moved all their tape information over correctly on their tally sheet and the totals that I have is 66 for Jill, 81 for Deborah, zero scattering. 81. 81, oh, 66 yeah. and 81. Okay. Did I say 61? No, you said 81. Okay, right. 66. Down below there's an 87. Oh, 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 yeah, nobody else. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it? Okay. Tom Mukla, wards one and two. Um, pull book, inspector statement, all look good. They, on their tally sheet, and they did a good job of noting it in their inspector statement. Their edge machine went down that morning because um, I thought it was very strange that they had no one vote on the edge machine. Um, so I looked in there and they explained it. I don't know if they called to try to get one, but they didn't use it. It ended up not being used. Um, so the tape information that they gave us was only for their insight, which got moved over correctly, and it was the correct number of voters. Um, they 
had for Jill 80, Deborah 63, scattering zero. Mukwa, three to five. Um, the poll book was missing the EDR page, the election day registration page, um, but the clerk was able to give me that, so that is now included in there. The inspector's statement, they had um, a situation where they had more cast ballots than had one more cast ballot than actual voters. So I um, contacted the clerk for her to talk to the chief inspection. Um, and her explanation was, the issue was with one of the touchscreen machines. I think what happened that once the poll workers realized that the person had not hit cast ballots, they cast it but hit activate a new ballot immediately after it. And it seems that at that point it was off, which is how the chief inspector explained it to me. They were checking numbers all day and everything was perfect up until that point. The issue was solely with the touch screen, not the paper ballots. Again, I don't know how that happens other than if they activated and then cast a ballot. So, um, but that's the explanation we have. Um, so on the tally sheet, everything else moved over correct. Again, we realized there was one extra ballot cast than voters, but the totals still don't add up to over the amount. So we have Jill at 193, Deborah at 173, zero scattering. Carl Ten. Hurry on the cars in the town. Carl Ten, everything. I didn't. I didn't note anything off. Um, sign the publicly sign. The numbers on there were correct. The inspector statement looked good. Um. The tapes were signed and everything was moved over correctly. They don't have paper ballots to count, so there was no half marks, but everything was added up between the edge and the inside. And then I had Jill at 66, Deborah at 87, scattering at one. Uh, St. Lawrence. Oh, poll book look good. Inspectors statement, no ballot or cartridge seals were listed. Um, otherwise, their tallies were correct. Um, I just realized that there's scatterings. A lot of people were writing in the town and union, right in. Oh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so for Jill, 86, Deborah, 67, zero scattering. Mm -hmm. And the wrong one. Oh, I am in union. I have unions in my hand. Yeah, that's why. Oh, I'm like, no, that's not St. Lawrence. St. Lawrence. Yeah. See, there's my alphabetizing ability. I go off the, the sheet here. Um, so I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Um, so that's the end of the sheet. Oh, yeah. 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 You need that above the above the S's. Okay, Thomas Scandinavia. Pull up, pull up, look good. 
On the inspector statement, I noted that there's no valid bag seal or green cartridge bag seal listed, and I did not see that in the log. Yes, I missed that. Um, Um, what they noted on their inspector statement that they had one vote counted more than voters, and their voter number was 225, and their ballots added up between the two as 226. Um, In yes, and then there's a note. Well, that's what I'm going to catch. Why did they call them? Because item 15 says that the, it was processing correctly. The vote was cast, and and and, and they they thought they had to turn off the machine. They didn't follow the procedure correctly. Um, if I'm not mistaken, in item number 15, it even says it was a blank ballot. So it doesn't. Okay, I don't recall. So that they explain what happened in their log, which is good, but they just need to, we need to get them to understand, pull out the book and look at how to process that. They should not have turned off the machine and turned it back on. There's a way to back it out. And it won't matter because we'll have a nice machine on But it's should matter for tomorrow. Um, Jill 114, Deborah 110, scattering zero. Now, Union. Great is for them, I guess. Yeah, they have them, but I'm not looking at those because that's the municipal office. <laughs> so the poll book is good. Um, the inspection statement no ballot or um, cartridge seal listed on our sheet, but they did list the ballot bag seal number in the log. But no cartridge. As far as the uh, tally sheets, they moved everything over correctly. They added everything up correctly. Have Jill with 86, Deborah with 67, scattering zero. Ton of Wapaka. Um, homework was good. Noted that there wasn't that much documentation in their um, blog. Tally sheet was good. They transferred. Um, they moved everything over correctly, and none of the tow wheels were over. And for Town of Opaca, I have Jill at 103, Deborah at 99, scattering zero. Town of Wairiga. Um, For their poll book, number of absentee voters was listed incorrectly. They noted the paper, they, they crossed out, so they had the right one and then they crossed it out and listed the number of hand count paper ballots rather than just their absentees. Their inspection, um, inspector statement had no initials or seals noted by the chief inspector, but they were in the log area. Where's your last one? School bus stopped in front of the door. Yeah, <laughs> their tally sheets, and they do have hand counts, so the tally marks, everything added up correctly.
I have Jill with 22, Deborah with 40, scattering zero. The last township is Town of Wyoming. I did not know anything in my initial review. Tapes, everything moved over correctly. The tally sheet was done correctly. Do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. I have Jill, 28, Deborah, 32, scattering zero. Jill is a big ball. <laughs> all 12, 12, 12. <laughs> they all voted on the paper. Or the, on the edge, they that's the one thing that they did wrong is they they wrote their numbers for the edge in the paper column. The closing seal numbers were not initial. I correctly and moved over. And so I had seven for Jill and five for Deborah, zero scattering. Village of Embarrass. Um, I did not note anything in the poll book for the inspector's uh, statement. The The only thing I noticed with the tally sheet is they had one vote, one paper ballot must have been, and instead of putting any tally marks, they just put the number one and where the vote matched. So they didn't, they didn't use that hash mark at all. They must have figured we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> but everything else was moved over correctly from their edge machine. Everything was correct as far as their inspector statement and their poll book. They had Jill twenty seven, Deborah thirty four, zero scattering. I did not note anything that was wrong with any of their logs or their poll book. Everything was moved over correctly from their edge and their insight and added up correctly. Everything was signed. Joe 58, Deborah 66, no scatter. Village of Iowa. For the poll book, um, they mistakenly gave us the cover sheet is the photocopied one, and we left that. Um, the inspector statement looked good. In the tally sheet, they also put their scattering. Um, they took their 
undervotes and overvotes and added them. And they really should, they called in three scattering for the state office. And that was really the three undervotes for the um, insight, if you want to confirm. Um, so I will change the village of Iola if you agree to a zero for scattering. Okay. And we did tell the clerk about that one as well, so she is aware of it. Mm -hmm. um, actually, the school noticed it right away. So I think I'll leave that. No, I had that. So I have the village of Iola, Jill 87, and Deborah 69. Scattering was changed to zero. Village of Ogdensburg. Okay, so full book looked good. Ballot bag seal was not noted on the inspector statement. Otherwise, their tally sheet, their edge was moved over correctly, everything signed, and their, their hand count was added correctly. Jill, I have 12, Deborah 25, zero scale. I'm Scandinavia. Oh, look, look good. Inspector statement. Um, they noticed, noted it um, that they had the number 28. In the full book was used twice. Um, but you know, it did reconcile, so they just they just had noted it. So I'm I'm mentioning that. Their tally sheet, um, they had an edge and a hand count, and that all edit um, moved over and was added up correctly. Everything was signed in the first place. I have Jill 32, Deborah 19, scattering zero. Vivian Towards one twenty eight. Their full books and inspector statement have all of their boards listed on them. It's just their tally sheets that are separated. And portions of it. And portions, yeah, of their, but it's on one piece of paper. So they use the Badger book. Um, full book. It looked right. They did have a, a, they always have to have a paper copy of their full book in case the paper book goes down. So they did have an issue that um, is noted for their inspector statement. They have a situation where they have one overvote, one undervote um, in different wards. But if you look at it, it matches up. It's like there's two overvotes and two undervotes. So they, what happened is they, Gave their uh, the wrong ballot to you know like the ward incorrect ward, which does happen sometimes in the city. So they just have to be more careful with that. Um, I did not see anything in their log that was any any concerning their tally sheets. Everything moved over correctly. They have the ice, so it's all. 
self-explanatory. So I'll just go down and, and do each ward with me. So City of Clintonville wards one, two, and eight. Jill, 94, Deborah, 66, scattering zero. City of Clintonville ward three, Jill, 47, Deborah, 45, scattering zero. City of Clintonville wards four and 10, Jill, 38, Deborah, 45, scattering zero. City of Clintonville Ward 5, Jill 55, Deborah 56, Scattering 1. City of Clintonville Ward 6, 7, and 9, Jill 90, Deborah 46, Scattering 0. City of Manila. Everything was good that I could see as far as inspector statements and everything being noted and the pool being signed and pages noted as well as the tally sheets. They have a hand count in their edge machines. Everything added up and moved over correctly. Jill 94, Deborah 89, scattering zero. City of Marion, words one through three, we do not do. We don't canvas town county portion. Oh, um, nothing noted on that one. Everything looks good. For both inspector statements and that we go to Marion. No, 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 there's a shadow county portion that I'm sorry, they give me the tally sheet and I just stick it there because I'm going to touch it. Not mine to look at, but they moved everything over from their two edge machines and their optical scans and added it up correctly. Signed everything on their tally sheets, everything on their books and inspector statements look good. So for City of Marion, I have Jill 53, Deborah 55, scattering zero. City of New London, same situation as the city of Clintonville, other than they're going to have all their books. Um, so all of their books look good. They're all the ones in the blue if you want to take a peek at all of them as we go here. Um, No clerk initials were noted on the inspector statement. And it looks like you looked at that one and you looked, talk to Michelle about that so she understands that process. Um, the tally sheets, they again have ice. Everything is just one number. It got moved over correctly. There was nothing, nothing to, um, out there, and it looks like for all of their words, that was the same thing. Everything was good with their poll books, everything was good with their inspector statement, other than the initials of the chief inspector or the summer course. Yeah, it looks like one that was just with both was 11 and 12. On their tallies, everything. Books that get moved over correctly, not a hard thing to do when you're that's the one Yeah. Yeah, they have the different words. I guess I could have done that. These all separate, sorry. They're all in separate polling places, so my brain didn't. My brain didn't go there. <laughs> okay, so City of New London, words three, four, and eight. 
Jill 154, Deborah 73, scattering zero. Word six and seven, Jill 102, Deborah 77, scattering one. London, words nine and 10, Jill 108, Deborah 74, scattering one. London, words 11 and 12, Jill 61, Deborah 47, scattering zero. City of Wapaka. City of Wapaka, that's the one that they have separate books, but they have one in Inspector's Day. Right. All right. So the poll books for all of their poll books, um, they should be everyone except for the very bottom, because that should be what we've got. Doesn't look like we noted anything. Inspector statements, um, no, ele no election inspector signature, but chief inspector did sign. Was noted on the. Oh, yeah, they don't have the. the did, they, did they do it inside of them? They all did the full books, but. So that was something that they need to have. Last number not listed on any of the boards. Tell me, she don't have a note that. Sorry. <laughs> they also had three more votes in wards one and eight, but they had one voter number given, but absentee was rejected. And they had two votes, voters given the wrong ballot. Words three and nine, one ballot, more ballot than voters. Word one and eight was given the wrong ballot. And words four and six, one ballot that one more ballot than voter. And one and eight was given the wrong ballot. So that's kind of the same situation with what go, where they, they all vote the same spot and they I don't know if you need that for your notes. Well, I just see that, that, yeah. You can, you can yeah, keep that until tell me. So they they just have to be a little bit more diligent on their ballots that they're giving out, making sure that it's the right ward and you have all the boards voting in the same place. Um their tally sheets, everything moved over correctly and was added up correctly. So Uh, words one and eight, Jill 143, Deb 89, scattering three. Words two, seven, 11 through 13, Jill, Jill 79, Deborah 57, scattering zero. Words three and nine, Jill 59, Deborah 36, scattering one. Words four and six, Jill 104, Deborah 61, and zero for scattering. Words five and 10, Jill 135, Deborah 75, scattering zero. That's it, sorry. So my baby, is she underneath? Her Rebecca, that's it. We have one, one last one, and City of Wailinga, we have all of the, everything appeared to be correct as far as the inspector statement and the book. All the tally sheets were um, correctly moved over and added and everything was signed. So City of Wailinga, I have Jill 100, Deborah 71, scattering two. That concludes it. So the only changes we had was a couple small random scatterings. So I will put go on mute and I will make those um, go to my desk so that I can print out everything and, and verify it well.
we have to verify it in front of everybody. See if I can do this while. Yep, that's still just the name, just in case. Right. <laughs> I always, because I just want to make sure. So I'm going to hit save. That was just scattering. Make sure it's done correctly. There's no calling offices, so I don't have to do anything like that. So verify that she does. Okay. Now I do have to stop sharing and go to my office because I have to run these reports and I can't do that up here. So I will mute us.
I'm so happy. Okay, so I have printed our three copies. We only have to do these this time, no county one, so. I move to adjourn. We are adjourned.